Hello guys and welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to try out a new game. I have never in my life tried to play Diablo. I mean, I have been playing Diablo 2, Diablo 3, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And I have never tried in my life Diablo 1. And you know, Diablo 1, they just released that game in the shop called DOG.com. And that is in teamwork with Blizzard. And no, don't play the trailer. And it's a teamwork with Blizzard, but GOG is supporting games can be running in high resolutions for all games. So basically, we can now play Diablo 1 for, I think it's like 10 bucks or something like that, 10 bucks. And you can play the old game for Diablo. So, I mean, let's do this. I've never tried Diablo 1. So if you have been playing Diablo 2 or Diablo 3 and you have never tried Diablo 1, well, follow this movie and you can see how it works. So the first thing you get asked question is about do you want to be a warrior, rogue, a sorcerer? Um, I'm probably more than warrior type. I'm gonna call him the Wallen. Okay. So here we are. <laughs> oh this graphic is um interesting. What do we have in? Okay, okay. Okay, so here we have my warrior and if I'm pretty sure I, I know some background history about this game, um, it's actually the only thing this game is about is that you have this city here where you can sell stuff and you can repair. And then the only thing in the whole game is a dungeon. Hello, my friend. Exactly, you can, see, you can still say identify listen. items. But basically, you cannot do anything else in this game except for doing a dungeon. So you can see the city here is just closed. You can do nothing. And then if you follow this road here, I'm pretty sure we're getting to the dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. So I heard, I heard correctly. I, I've never played this game, but I just know that the only thing you can actually do is being in the city and go to the dungeon. Please. And that's actually quite cool for me. I mean, playing a game where the only thing you have is to be in a town and then go into a dungeon and have fun. Your death will be avenged. Oh, Your I cannot. Death will be avenged. I cannot speak to that guy again. Sad. Okay, let's try this. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Shas. 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 Okay. I mean, the combat is already better than Diablo 3. Oh, the faster I click, the faster my attacks is attacking. That's pretty cool. Oh, I got a helmet. I don't have a spell ready. This archer. Where's that archer? <laughs> okay, I have never heard these sounds from this game before while playing it, but I, I know a old Diablo series you can you can watch on YouTube from I can't remember what they called someone is making a cartoon of old Diablo 1 and all this sounds is exactly the same so okay let's see here okay, okay can I get this character can I kill them so I can kind of take a break Okay, so I have my character here where you can see how much life I have. Strength and all that. Oh, did he drop a new shield? Nah. So I can see all of my 
and I'm almost next level. Uh, then we have the quest. Please listen to me, the Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. Oh, okay, so the first boss we're going to kill is the Butcher. I don't have a spell ready. I don't have a spell ready. Huh, interesting. And I don't have any spells, shit. No. Oh, I got damage from that. Oh. Level up. So I guess I will take some strength and vitality. How many point points do I have? Why can I see how many times I can choose up? Oh, the points are just blue. Uh, right now I deal 2 to 6 damage. Okay, so Strange is not making me deal more damage. I guess it's for having higher items on. What's the key bind? Let's see. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess this game here could probably be quite fun to complete if you actually are playing this in an online version. You can also play this with your friends. Uh, the high resolution is only available in um, in uh, local area network, so you have to be on the same network as your friend. But you can probably also use a VPN. I mean, I have been playing a lot of Diablo 2 and I can see back in time, I, I understand why Diablo 2 was a big, big thing. Because from this game to Diablo 2, that's a huge upgrade. I mean, if you look at this graphic in this game and then Diablo 2, that's like a whole new generation. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Why is my gold not stored? Do you really have to do this? I can't use this. I don't have a spell yet. ready. I don't have a spell ready. Yeah, okay, I probably have to identify. Can I come out in a fast way, or do I really have to walk all the way back? <laughs> Level 2. Level three. <laughs> oh, that was silly. Well, that's how you go from level one to level two in two seconds. Oh, there's a lot of gold here. I don't even know what I can use gold for. What? 
Toby Cross I said save Oh so when you die in this game it's a pyramid F game? Oh okay so that's how the game is it says I'm level three so like you're level three so that's the achievement of this game and now I can try again and try a new level. I know that I could also say save game and then it will go back to where I last died. Wow, that's a that's a weird way to play a game. And and then it goes back to where it saved last time. Okay. Let's try something new. Sorcerer. Do we have any spells? So what's that? Charged bolt, a fireball, dual seventer, charged bolt. I cannot cast that here. Okay. So every time I click save game and then I can go back to my checkpoint. Well then I'm quite happy for what they have in Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 that you basically just respawn and you continue where you you let off. Huh. Let's see what this mage she can. Yeah yeah. We're going to kill the butcher. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. It's not very nice, it's very accurate with those fireballs. Getting mana. What what is it doing? Select current spell button. Why is it? what what is that spell doing? Staff Richard skill. So now it has, and then I can do. It says 37 out of 38, and when I do this, it says 37 out of 37. That's weird. Okay, so this spell here doesn't cost mana, but it just has charges. Is the level the same or is it an... I don't think it's the same level. Did they already have different levels back in that time? They did. That's quite cool. I guess all you who are watching this video, you're like, oh my god, I need to play this game. I mean, I, I guess the game is pretty great that when it actually came out. I'm, I'm sure when the game came out, it was the fantastic game. Okay, over there we have level two.
matching. I do not have a spell ready. Uh -oh. What what happened? What? So because I clicked escape to cancel my option, I clicked on quit. Oh, now it actually just quit the game. <laughs> oh, I was um, kind of kind of bad. So what? Oh my god! It just reset the game. Okay, I mean, I mean, I, I guess this is not not informa enough information to have a first impression of Diablo One. I mean, the, for when it, if you think about when it actually came out, I think this game is quite cool, um, and I like the idea that you just have a city and you just spam dungeons, just go into the next level, 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 level. I mean, try see how many games right now that are releasing, releasing where you have to do exactly the same thing. So. I must agree that I must say this is a quite cool game. Uh, of course, the gameplay is over because the game is from I mean before I even was born. So, so that's probably the fact of why the game is how it is. Um, but it's a pretty cool game, and if you like nostalgic, I definitely can recommend use ten bucks on trying it out. And if you don't like nostalgic and you just want to play new games, then never buy it. But it was I mean, it's pretty cool. So I think I just can say thanks guys for watching and uh, I'll probably try and come a bit longer in this game and and record that. But I think this is okay for first impression. And I, and I have, you know, in a normal game I, I'm used to, you can cancel stuff by clicking escape. But in this game here, I somehow clicked. Now I did it again. I clicked, go out of the game. I should stop with doing that. So yeah, let's uh, let's let's round it up and let's say this was our first impression. So thanks guys for watching. Have a great weekend and leave down a comment. Have you played Diablo One? Have you been there since it was released? And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So thanks guys for watching and have a great day.